My name is Amy and I'm the creator and maker of Ziggy Sawdust's retro redesigned furniture. I studied sculpture at Glasgow School of Art and throughout my degree I was using furniture and secondhand furniture specifically and I've always been drawn to, to it for its kind of aesthetic and what it meant to me and memories that it kind of conjured up and all that kind of thing. But I was given an opportunity to go out to Venice when I graduated and I was thinking that I was wanting to pursue a very kind of fine art um, career path but when I was out there I decided that that maybe wasn't for me for I'm not really sure what reason and seeing so much art and seeing so much culture um, I ended up being inspired to go down the route of redesigning furniture and making it still very commercial and still practical for people to use as furniture but try and kind of twist it and have a fun element to it. I find inspiration from the pieces of furniture themselves because quite a lot of the time they're very heavily stained and very heavily varnished but you don't and because it is just one kind of brown you don't really notice the intricacy that people put into the design of the the piece and um, so what I kind of like to do is start thinking about it back down to basic shapes and then use colour to to bring those out so I'm very much kind of just go with what feels right for for the piece but in the back of my head I'm always kind of thinking about a, a retro musician or a, a film star that I can kind of use as a bit of a, a muse for each individual piece so that kind of informs decisions as well. But I think really the most important thing for me is spending a bit of time with each piece. I know that sounds a bit cheesy, but just kind of getting to know it and seeing what, how it can evolve and how I can kind of bring out a bit of its original character even more. I think what I enjoy the most about doing the, the furniture and having Ziggy Sawdust is seeing, having a thought about what something might look like and then seeing that out and actually seeing the finished piece. But sometimes I can, after spending so much time with something, it's really difficult to kind of remove yourself from it and enjoy it. You know, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so sometimes things really bug me and, you know, I maybe put too much emphasis on that. But then if you have something wrapped up and then bring it out maybe a, a week or two later, and then kind of look at it with fresh eyes. I think I really, really enjoy that. And then seeing, working with clients and adding my vision to their vision and working on something together and then creating something that they're happy with as well. I think that's probably my favorite thing too.